So hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel, Data Mahadev. We also have a website with the same name, datamahadev.com, where you can, you know, uh, learn about artificial, learn concepts related to artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, deep learning, and LP Python, etc. So this is what it is. And I hope you all are following FIFA World Cup also. The current match that is going on is Tunisia versus France. All right, no worries coming back to business so i hope you all are following the uh, numpy series that we are creating for you all to learn and upskill yourselves all right so this is what it is in the past we have discussed how to create a diagonal array identity matrix we have also discussed ones uh, matrix two uh, zeros matrix how to reshape a matrix how to basically do basic arithmetic operations in a matrix and the creation of an array, creation of a matrix, matrix multiplication, algebraic, linear, etc. Uh, in this uh, particular video tutorial, we will be discussing what? We will be discussing about uh, how to basically create basic statistical functions using NumPy. Alright, we will do, we will create that. Alright, so in this video, we will be discussing what? We will be discussing basic statistical functions. functions using numpy so this is what uh, it is this will be the crux of this particular tutorial so we have two matrices defined above v3 and v4 which we de defined in uh, earlier of our videos v3 and v4 uh, if you want to see how we defined v3 and v4 uh, we defined it with a function np.array and you can do what you can basically uh, refer to our uh, matrix multiplication video that will be very much uh, beneficial for you all to you know see how we created these matrices and how we apply in matrix multiplication all right so let us start with v3 and v4 so we will first we'll do what we'll create uh, we'll basically calculate mean of the matrix v3 so how do we uh, basically calculate mean using numpy which it uh, the formula is the syntax is np dot mean v3 and shift plus enter so it will give us what it will give us the mean of v3 we can also cross check it we can also cross check it uh, just simply do what mean is what average for the basically average of this matrix or let's just add up all the elements using np dot sum all right uh, sorry, just write v3 over here, np dot sum. So it will give you what? It will give you the sum of the, all the elements of the matrix v3. All right. Uh, so the sum of all the elements of v3 is 111. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 7, 14. 8, 22. 11, uh, 33. Th uh, 15, 48. 65. And um, this is your 96. And this is your uh, 65. This is your 86. This is your 111 so it is 111 now the length basically of v3 is what the length of v3 is basically 3 basically it is giving us what it is giving us this only the length only the linear length so if you want to really know the number of elements total number of elements that are there in v3 we just do what we just do v3 dot shape so 3 cross 3 equivalents to 9 equals to 9 so we have how many elements we have 9 elements so 111 divided by 9 will be what equivalent to 12.3344 which is equivalent to our what average mean of the matrix v3 all right which is equivalent to what which is equivalent to 12.334 so this is what this is how we calculate mean using or average using numpy np all right next we'll do what next we'll basically calculate median all right now median is what how do we calculate median in statistics we will have a look at that before we uh, calculate median of, uh, you know, V3 and V4, we will do what we will basically calculate the mean of uh, V4 as well. All right, NP dot median V4. I'm sorry, and uh, we'll calculate the mean of, I'm really sorry, mean of V4. So NP dot mean of V4 is equivalent to 5. The mean is also 5. So basically, um, how do we calculate? So 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 6, 21, 
21 plus 7, 28, 28 plus 8, 36, 36 plus 9, 45, 45 divided by 5 is equal to 5.0. Now coming back to our mean part, all right, V3, it is 11, NP dot median of uh, V3 is 11, all right, let us check the median of V4, all right, which is equal to 5. Now how it is calculating median, let us have a look at it. All right, so median is calculated n by 2 for even number of elements. All right, and n plus 1 by 2 for odd number of elements. So we have what? We have 9 elements. We have what? We have 3 into 3, 9 elements. All right, so they are what? They are odd number of elements. So we will use this formula to basically know at which position is our median all right so this is what it is uh so nine is the number of elements so nine plus one is equal to ten and ten divided by two is equivalent to what ten divided by two is equivalent to five that means at the fifth position in sorted manner fifth position in sorted manner we will find what we will find our median of what v3 all right so this is what it is and v4 as well v4's median will also be present at the fifth position why because it also has nine number of elements all right so this is this is for even this is for odd so let me clear this drawing all right so we have <coughs> excuse me so fifth position in sorted manner so we have v3 all right now the lowest number is what sorted manner in how it will be sorted it will be sorted in ascending order that is from down to up all right so the lowest number is two so, so two is at the first position then the second lowest number is fifth fifth is at the second position then it is seventh third position then eight is at the fourth position then eleventh is at the fifth position so that is why it is showing the median as eleven. And we saw the formula also, how we calculate n by 2 for even, n plus 1 by 2 for odd. All right. Similarly, np dot median v4. So, v4, 1, 2, 3, they are all already sorted. All right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th is at the 5th position. So, it has calculated 5. All right. Now, there is a very interesting thing in uh, v4 uh, that the mean and median are equal mean and median are equal so when mean and median are equal mean and median are equal your data is said to be normalized now what is normalized we will also discuss uh, it in our next sections when we um, discuss statistics in depth all right so till now this much knowledge is enough that when mean and median are equal, a data is normalized. All right, so this is what it is. So we've calculated mean, we've calculated median. Now is the time to calculate what? Now is the time to calculate standard deviation. All right, standard deviation using NumPy. All right, so np.std, it is very simple in Python, v3, and it will do what? It will calculate our standard deviation. Similarly, we can calculate the standard deviation for v4 as well np.std v4 so it has done what it has calculated the standard deviation for v4 as well all right so this is what it is all right uh and uh, okay so this is uh, the syntax uh, you know of how to calculate the standard deviation now what we'll do is that we'll basically uh know the formula for standard deviation as well now standard deviation formula is what sd short form for standard deviation is equivalent to whole under root of summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n all right so this is how we calculate standard deviation now let us do what let us take a standard deviation of let's say three elements one two three all right not more than that one two three all right now this x bar is what this x bar is the mean of x all right and this x is what this x is the discrete elements of x all right like this x 
they are what one two three they are what discrete elements of x all right now the mean of this one two three will be what one plus two three three plus three six six divided by three mean of x will be that is x bar that is x bar will be equivalent to what will be equivalent to x bar will be equivalent to two one plus two 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 divided by 3, 3 is the total number of elements that is n, 2. All right. Now the formula says what? The formula says x minus x bar. All right. So 1 minus 2, discrete value of x, mean of x, 1 minus 2 is equivalent to minus 1, 2 minus 2 is equivalent to 0, 3 minus 2 is equivalent to 1. Now the formula says what? x minus x bar whole square x minus x bar whole square. We'll calculate x minus x bar whole square. So 1, 0, 1 is equal to 2. This is what summation of x minus equivalent to our numerator, which is summation of x minus x bar whole square. All right, so this is what it is. 2. And n is equivalent to 3. Total number of elements are what? How many? 1, 2, 3. 3 number of elements we have. 3 data points. 3 rows we have. 3 rows we have. Alright. So, 2 divided by 3 will be what? Our standard deviation. Which will be equivalent to what? 0. 0.667. So, this is how standard deviation is calculated. Alright. So, let me clear all these drawings. You can... If you have any confusion, you can just rewind the video, go back and learn it again. All right. So this is what it is. This is how we calculate standard division. Similarly, uh, we can also calculate variance. We can also calculate variance. Now variance, it is also very simple. NP dot var V3, NP dot var, <coughs> excuse me, V4, 6.67. 52.664. All right. So before we move further and discuss the formula of NP.Y, let me check the scores. All right. So Tunisia versus France, 32 minutes have gone. Zero, zero score. No worries. All right. Australia and Denmark is also live simultaneously. Zero, zero score. No worries. No goal scored. That's great. No loss. All right. So NP. Variance is what? Variance is nothing but the square of standard deviation. All right, variance is nothing but the whatever formula we saw, just to remove the under root. All right, the formula of standard deviation was what? Whole under root, summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n. Just uh, whole square, remove the under root, summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n. So this is what the formula of variance is. It is just the square of standard deviation. So let's say we have this. Uh, let me clear all the drawings. Let's say we have this uh, 7. All right, 7.25 as standard deviation. If we multiply it, all right, if we multiply it, all right, so it, the answer will be equivalent to the answer that we have. Square of standard deviation is equivalent to variance, all right. So this is what it is. Similarly, we have a 2.4, uh, this, 2.581 into 2.581 and we got this. Alright, so this is what it is. This is how we can calculate variance. Alright, later on when we go deeper in stats, we will also discuss what is the use of standard division and variance in detail. Each and every formula in minute detail. Alright, so this is what it is. Alright, that we will do when we discuss pandas from here on. Alright, uh, next we will do what? Next, we'll basically take up. So we have done, we are done with standard division. We are done with var, mean, median. We'll take a min max element of a matrix. NP dot min of V3. I'll sprint V3 once again. No need to scroll up every time. So NP dot min V3 is equivalent to 2. So uh, we can see the minimum element of V3 is what? 2. Similarly, if you want to check the max element of V3, so we'll do what? We'll check with... 25. So as you can see, 25 is the maximum element of V3. Similarly, we can check for V4. 
V4 is the minimum element and V4 is maximum element, which is 9. All right. Let us print V4. So this is what it is. Excuse me. So this is what it is. All right. So that's uh, all we have for the basic statistical functions we can use in NumPy. Uh, stay tuned. Keep like, sharing, and subscribing. And thanks a lot. Uh, we have reached uh, 1,000 subscribers and 1 lakh views. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, keep sharing, keep liking, keep subscribing. And thanks a lot, everyone.